Darling, you sent me. So normally I start with Bantu knots just because for my hair, 4C hair, it's so much easier to do a puff when I'm either working from a twist out or a Bantu knot out. So I did Bantu knots yesterday. First things first, we're gonna take those out. Darling, you when you take them out try not to take out the curl with your fingers like just leave it how it is because we're gonna deal with those in a set also if you guys want like a tutorial on how i even do my bantu knots like with the parting and everything let me know and i can make like an easy beginner's tutorial for bantu knots once all of them are out your best friend for a high puff if you don't have like extremely long hair is gonna be a pick so you're gonna take your hair and you're literally just going to pick at the curls but don't go all the way through so kind of just like start from the root and then pick up And then for the puff, kind of like start to bring the front in front of your face like this. My dandruff is going everywhere because my hair is not that clean right now. Like you can bring the front in front of your face. I look like the little baby in Proud Family. Pick out the back. Make sure that you get the back because the back is important too. And your puff is going to look all uneven. So next, you're going to take a shoelace. I always use a shoelace. I don't have a black one, but like I need to get a black shoelace for these because a shoelace in the color of your hair will be best honestly because it's gonna be much harder to see and then you're gonna take some gel i've been using gorilla snot just because it works the best for gelling up the sides so that it's not like puffy still like i used to use eco styler you can and it still works but i just prefer gorilla snot so i'm gonna take my gorilla snot put it in the tip of my fingers like this and rub it in and then ooh, that just got in my face you're going to basically put the gel on the sides of your hair basically on the perimeter like all throughout the perimeter of your hair and then take a brush and then just brush that up and you kind of want to do this if you're using gorilla snot do this part quick before it all dries and it doesn't like work when you finally put the shoelace on then you're gonna also do the back don't forget to brush up the back with gel i don't really touch the front and you'll see why still put gel there but like i don't really touch it like i don't really bring the front up i kind of just how you see like it's still in front of my face i leave it like that just to get the exact look that i'm going for you're gonna take the shoelace tie it like this basically in like a knot and then basically you're just going to pull just like that so you basically can pull until the puff is the size that you want it the longer you pull the smaller the puff gets so this is this is basically how big I normally do mine and I'm just going to bobby pin anywhere that you see this shoelace right here like you don't you don't want to see that and I like to do a bantu knot or a twist out just because like it adds more texture to the puff at least I feel that way you can kind of pick up the puff a little bit more And I also pin the back down to make sure that everything is staying in place. You just want to make sure that everything stays in place. Just so that like say you put on a hoodie or something. Even though I try, if I have done a high puff, I try to not put anything over. That's why I always get dressed before I do my hair just so that I can leave it like this. So yeah, this is basically it. That is how I achieve my high puffs. Really not that much to it, just if you can try to make it on a day where you're taking out a twist out or a bantu knot out and pick everything out, do the whole shoelace thing. I hope that I explained that well. <laughs> do the whole shoelace thing and then um, you should be good. Gel I use, like I said, I use Gorilla Snot to do my gel use that if you want and just make sure that you have a good pick by your side and then like you can pick it out throughout the day as well so thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know any other hair tutorials that you want to see and with that i will see you all next sunday with another new video bye